Hey, Di hey Diana. Hey, I'm Diana. You're watching Physics Girl. We went there in the winter. That once served 12 pots of coffee in an hour, 24 miles. <laughs> I raced out onto the racetrack by myself. <laughs> So cool. But they're not pushing around rocks that way as much as refrigerators. Richard had heard about the racetrack problem many years prior in school. No, the rocks had moved, but how would you know what had happened? Later, Ralph Lorenz reportedly claimed something to happen, knowing that it might take decades. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? Sometimes I get caught up worrying about conflict with other people for months or years and I wish I just talked it out and frankly just stopped ruminating worldwide so you can log in anytime and send a message to your therapist. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches too, so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. So visit betterhelp.com slash physics girl. That's better H-E-L-P.com slash physics girl and join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. And as a special offer to viewers of Physics Girl, you can get 10% off the first month at betterhelp.com slash physics girl. The reason Richard is confessing is because the, so at this point, James and, and Richard pretty much rule out ice. Their team wind. So they head out to the playa expecting a hurricane to blow the rocks around. Giant sheets of ice, hundreds of feet across, were starting to move across the playa. What they realized was that on rare occasions, when the playa fills with water from rain, here's why this is all so amazing. What Richard and James soon realized was that the corral experiment hadn't disproved the ice theory, it had disproved thick ice thought was possible. The pond isn't big enough to fill the entire playa. And yet, how do we know? How do they get there? A siege is when strong winds can cause it moves the entire pond from one end of the playa to the other. The pond essentially rolls uphill. And then at the end of the day, the wind dies down and it moves all the way back. So they published a paper describing what was going on in 2014. And what happened next was amazing. Everywhere he went, people started telling him about mysterious things that they had found of rocks and ice being moved by unusual forces. So I think I finally understand why it took so long to solve this mystery about a little girl from Germany. James were really eager to solve the mystery, but I don't think they ever expected the uncover next. Thanks so much for watching and happy physics.